the red piano. A little girl who really wanted to start playing piano got one as a birthday present from her parents. As it was delivered, the store gave the parents the contact details of the only person in town who could fix the piano, an old lady. The girl was excited to start practicing. But a few weeks later, she started complaining to her parents that her fingertips hurt. She was told that this is normal. She was just bruising them through over practice. But if she kept going, her fingers would get used to the pressure. The girl continued to practice, but started growing thinner. Then, after a month, the piano broke. The old lady was invited over to fix it. When she arrived, she told the parents and the girl they needed to stay out of the room as she was working, as she didn't want any distractions. She shut the door to the room and soon after emerged piano was fixed. The girl went back to her daily practices and continued to lose weight and colour in her cheeks. She was so weak she could barely walk across the room. Then the piano broke again. The old lady arrived again to take a look at the piano and again told the parents to stay out of the room. The parents were curious about how such a frail old lady managed to fix such an instrument and decided to peek inside the room through the keyhole. They saw the old lady open the piano and take out a glass jar filled with what looked like blood. Then she started to drink it. The parents rushed to call the police, who got to the house just in time to arrest the old lady. As they examined the piano, they discovered that the keys had tiny needles built into them so small they were practically invisible to the naked eye. As the girl played the piano, she suffered tiny cuts which drained her blood drop by tiny drop into the jar. The piano was also designed to break when the jar was full so the old lady could arrive and drink the blood.